हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अनदर ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ कंप्यूटर क्लास फोर लेसन फाइव डियर चिल्ड्रन इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टडी पेज नंबर फोर्टी एट एंड इन दिस चैप्टर द टॉपिक्स डेट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर व्हाट इज नेटवर्क what is internet history of internet commonly used internet terms basic requirements for internet connection and web browser and its part so let's start with the topic what is network but before talking about network just tell me something Do you know something about map? A map is a visual representation of different locations of a country displayed on a flat surface. It presents information about the world in a simple visual way. It is a symbolic representation which displays the area connected through network, roads, railway line or airways. The network helps us in traveling from one place to another with the help of map. Suppose you with your family you all are planning to go and uh, go for a outing and have fun. So for that to take make your journey comfortable or easy what your father will do he will look for the map to get a clear idea and for the route display you all will use the map and at that time you will use your internet for route display while traveling so now if you want to interact with your friend or relative rather than meeting personally what you will do then you will use your smartphone you will use your computer and it is possible if and only if your device is connected at the other end too just like a road connects various cities and towns likewise the internet connects one computer with another computer through this network and this network is known as computer network the network is known as the computer network now what is internet so when the computer network are joined together and form a bigger network it is called internet the internet connects millions of computers around the world and because of this the computer has revolutionized the whole world because these computers are the most effective communication tool the internet connects huge variety of information we can interact and connect with people worldwide just because of the internet connection so what is the history of internet then so dear children a man walked on moon in the year 1969 as long as a way of government researchers to the to share information the us department set an advanced project agency arpa for further research okay what they did they designed a network of four computers to exchange their data exchange and share their data okay this eventually led to the information of the arpanet in full arpanet is 
एडवांस रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट एजेंसी नेटवर्क यू विल हैव टू राइट द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आरपा एंड आरपा नेट बोथ ओके एंड लर्न इट सो इन फुल आरपा नेट इज एडवांस रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट एजेंसी नेटवर्क एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क दैट हैज द फोर रनर ऑफ द इंटरनेट ओके सो लेटर मैनी यूनिवर्सिटीज ज्वाइन दिस नेटवर्क एंड स्टार्ट शेयरिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन दिस इंफॉर्मेशन वॉज द बिगनिंग ऑफ नेटवर्किंग ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स विच स्लोली ग्रू बिगर वास्ट डे बाई डे एंड गेव बर्थ टू द इंटरनेट स्लोली वॉट हैपन With the help of this technology, our life started changing in a rapid manner. Earlier, internet was used by engineers and computer experts only for research purpose. But slowly, the private agencies started using it. The general public started using it, and people started sending. messages with the messages files we also send pdf and all P- pdf videos all between any two computers people started getting connected with the help of internet in india internet services started on 15th august 1995 through the government owned company which is vsnl that is videsh sanchar nigam limited okay the commonly used internet terms now we will go through it the commonly used internet terms are www that is world wide web and tim berner lee is the founder of world wide web as you all know that the internet is a huge network okay and this ww refers to a network of sites of the internet it can contain, uh, contains the information in the form of text pictures animations and videos and the po- people all over the world can access the information with the help of it now next one is web page a web page is a digital page and it contains text images videos audios etc now next comes home page so what is home page the first page of the website that you see is home page the first page of the website is home page and it contains the main information about the ss website along with the links to other pages of the website here the links all are also present uh, related to the same website okay so the first page of the website is called home page web page www web page a uh, world wide web next one first one was www world wide web which was uh, the founder of www is tim berners lee second one was web page and the third is home page the first page of the website is called home page now comes url what is url url resource locator the full form of url is uniform resource locator and the url of any website is entered in the address bar of the web browser so if you want now uh, you will ask the question that what is url suppose you want to go to your friend's house for that you need to know his address and to 
visit any website likewise if you want to visit any ex, uh, website you need to know the address each website has its own unique address and this is known as url each website is identified by a unique address which is known as url that is uniform resource locator which we enter on the address bar of the web browser for example to go to cartoon network to watch cartoon network you enter www.cartoonnetwork.com to watch discovery channel you go to discoverychannel.com all these are urls of cartoon network and discovery channel respectively now what is isp isp is internet service provider an isp company offers you the use of internet in exchange of for a fee it takes some amount of money and the company offers you fee the internet service provider offers you internet in exchange for a fee they take some amount and they provide you internet okay so isp stands for internet service provider it provides software username and password so why do they provide software uh, provide software with username and password to the user just so as um, by using this by using the username and the password the user can get connected to the internet easily so some service providers are BSNL, Tata Airtel, Reliance Idea, etc. Okay, dear children, ISP provides two types of connection: dial-up and broadband. In dial-up technology, you have to dial a number to connect to the internet through an existing phone line. on the other hand with the help of broadband technology a computer is continuously connected to the internet through the phone lines and this broadband is of high speed okay it provides high speed internet access so dear children go through the chapter go go through the topics that i have taught and the full form of arpa arpanet vsnl www url isp all these you have to write down and copy and learn it okay the first commercial isp was the uh, was the masjids based the world founded in brooklyn in 1989 dear children learn the full form go through the chapter well go through the topics well and in the upcoming session i will teach you net surfing and search engines different search engines we will go through it and the basic requirements for an internet connection that also we will go through it so today what we have learned that a internet uh, that a network that connects different computers with each other is known as computer network when the computer networks are joined together they form a bigger network called internet now www refers to networks of sites of the internet which contains information in the form of text pictures animations and videos and a web page is a digital page which may contain 
text, images, videos, audios, etc. The first page of the web page website is called home page. Each website has its own unique address which is known as URL that is uniform resource locator. IP, ISP offers the use of internet in exchange for a fee and it stands for internet service provider. There are two types of connections in ISP. ISP provides two different types of connections and they are dial-up and broadband. Okay. Now, with few more topics, we will be back in the next session that is in the next video. Okay. Till then, go through the chapter well, write the full form and stay fit and stay healthy. Thank you. Have a nice day.